listening, I think, wow, we're really talking about when don't ask, don't tell is repealed, not if, and what huge progress that is. And that it really comes from courageous acts, from standing up, from coming out, and fighting back. So I just thank each of you for your courage, for your dedication, and for your love. You're making it possible for people to serve openly in the military and for the kids to grow up not being bullied and not committing suicide. So really, it's a tremendous gift that you're giving to communities all over the country, and I just really honor that. And it feels a little awkward to speak after all that you've shared. ACLU is absolutely committed to ending discrimination against gays and lesbians in every walk of life, and especially in the military. And so we're working hard in the legislature and in the courts to repeal Don't Ask, Don't Tell, and looking for every opportunity to poke at and prove false the theories that are used to justify the discrimination. So. One step in that is the, a lawsuit that we filed yesterday. Uh, the ACLU of New Mexico with the National ACLU filed a suit in the Court of Claims against the Department of Defense for cutting separation pay in half if you're discharged because you're homosexual. Absolutely no justification for this act. It actually start, it's an internal policy that started two years before Don't Ask, Don't Tell, but it perpetuates the same myths. Right, perpetuates the, the lies, the false ideology that gays and lesbians are somehow less than and are somehow a threat to service. So we filed this suit yesterday. Our lead plaintiff um, serves, served at Cannon Air Force Base. And I think one of the most insidious things about Don't Ask, Don't Tell is the witch hunts and the capacity for people to out service members. And so our plaintiff in this case was outed. He was witnessed off base off duty by two civilian employees who reported him, and then he was discharged under Don't Ask, Don't Tell. And he only once he got a separation pay did he realize there's this little administrative rule that cuts the pay in half. So we think there are about 100 people in this class action lawsuit. Uh, we're just gonna move it forward, try to get press, and again, doing everything we can to demystify and um, debunk the, the lies that are being told about gays and lesbians in the military. So we're very excited to be working with and standing with Avers and with all the lesbian vets. So thank you all so much. So it still begs the question, what do we prefer? Do we prefer a legislative or 